130 picks between the sixth overall pick and 137 overall, currently longest time between picks for any team in this year's draft. All right, so we're back with our crew. And Tim, all the latest mocks have Carolina slated to pick a quarterback, especially number mm -hmm. six overall. But does number six for a quarterback in this class seem to be too high in your estimation? Feels a little bit, especially if you consider the situation that Carolina's in. And like, I'm not in the business of trying mm -hmm. to fire coaches prior to the season, but I think mm -hmm. probably all would agree that, that Matt Rule and his staff is under some serious pressure to win. And so I think there can also be some internal conflict in terms of what ultimately may end up being best for the, the franchise, which would be, you know, find a young quarterback that you feel like you can build around. Uh, you know, Malik Willis being a guy that has all types of potential or, uh, you know, do you not do that because you don't love you know, any of these quarterbacks, but that doesn't help the current coaching staff, you know, keep their jobs. And so, you know, I think the, you know, ultimately, you know, the challenge that they have is, you know, they could even have conflict with the quarterbacks they're choosing between because Pickett is much more ready to come in and play right away. Uh, but the upside yeah. of Willis is there. So I, I think there are so many different factors that can influence whether you take quarterback and then which quarterback you would take based on the current kind of uncertainty in Carolina. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.